Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice for January 23rd, 2017. Um, welcome to my channel, welcome back to everyone who's been here before. This is a general reading looking at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies in order to be able to use them for our highest good. And since we're looking at energies, these will play out in different ways for different people which is why I always encourage everyone to keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading and then apply it to your own situation if you feel that it speaks to that, if you feel that it could help. Um, and I will be posting the weeklies um, a bit later on today, um, today being Monday. Um, I've had some uh, unexpected guests over the weekend and it was you know, very nice, but um, I wasn't able to work as I had planned. Um, so that's why I wasn't able to post them early. All right, so let's just get into the reading for today. We have a beautiful message of new beginnings, new beginnings for us today. And our only challenge, if you will, is just embracing change, letting go of whatever needs to be let go of, and making room for new beginnings, new energies, new ways of being. The first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation is the Knight of Swords. And so with the Knight of Swords um, as our influence from the past, the Knight of Swords is a card that talks about a time in our lives when we have had to act, but we've had to act from a place of reason, logic, uh, to see ahead, okay, to think ahead, to be uh, grounded, to make decisions based on information, based on fact, as opposed to, let's say, making choices from an emotional place. Um, and I think we had a similar message um, in the last week, towards the end of the week, where we were asked to maybe take our emotions out of it, keep our instincts and our inner wisdom, which is our intuition, but maybe kind of turn the situation around from different perspectives and just look at it for exactly what it is not wishful thinking not fear clouding our judgment and so on and so forth and so i feel like the knight of swords speaks directly to that kind of a time in our lives when we've had to apply um, that kind of exercise to kind of pull back a little bit the more we get emotionally involved in a situation um the more confusing it can get the more complicated it can get and so it's always a good practice and a bit of a healthy practice to take a step back, take emotion out of it and try to keep a cool head and listen to our intuition. We have our intuition here. That's an owl. So it's saying, yes, we're rational, logical, clear headed, but we still have our instincts that we follow in our actions and what we do. And knights are cards of action. So it talks about a time in our lives when we had to make a, ch a choice, we had to make a decision um, and act upon that decision. It's not enough just to think about it, we had to act. And oftentimes that produces change in our lives. As a result, our card for today is the Death card. And the Death card is a major arcana card talking about change and transformation, talking about a need to release the old, release the past, whatever has been weighing us down, whatever is holding us back so that we can embrace new beginnings, so that we can embrace this change, this positive um, energy that is trying to enter our lives at this time. Now it is a major arcana card, okay? And these two together say, the knight as a minor arcana says, we've done our part, okay? We did what we were supposed to. Now the universe is stepping in and manifesting uh, or completing our manifestation process, if you will by doing its part, by, doing, by our angels and our guides doing their part. So we're working together now. We've done our part. We did what we were supposed to. We got ourselves to this point, And now it's just a matter of allowing for the universe to take charge of the situation, if you will, and then just gently guide us um, into what it is that we've been trying to manifest. The death card can talk about a lot of things. It can talk about letting go of bad habits, letting go of addictions, perhaps. Um, it can talk about releasing a relationship that we may have been holding on to. Um, either, you know, hoping that it, it works, hoping that it starts again, hoping that that person comes back, hoping that we get closure. Um, whatever the case may be, we're holding on to something or we have been holding on to something. 
um, to do with our relationships or to do with uh, career dreams or um, personal endeavors, personal projects, whatever the case may be. And we were too close to it. We were too attached to it, either by strong emotions of fear or wishful thinking um, or just putting a lot of pressure on ourselves to make sure that we do right by everyone and so on and so forth. And it just got really complicated. That's why we were asked to keep a clear head and act to change that situation, to take ourselves out of that vicious cycle. And that's what's happening for today with the death card. We're already starting to see that change. We're already starting to see things happen in our lives on multiple uh, fields, on multiple levels, if you will, because this is a major arcana card. So you could find that you're feeling different or you've, you're thinking differently now. Uh, you have changed your expectations. You have changed your approach uh, with life in general or whatever it is that you're focused on. You're starting to see things change with your work situation. You're starting to see things change in your emotional life, with your health, towards the direction of new beginnings, towards the direction of embracing new energies, new opportunities, new blessings in our lives with the death card. Maybe we're moving. Maybe we thought we were living in our dream home and we were reluctant to let it go, but we had to. We were forced to for whatever reason. And now we're moving and actually we find that if we come to it with an open mind and an open heart, we find that, hold on, this place is actually a lot better for me. Okay, uh, maybe holding on to a job situation, either hoping to get a job or really working hard to get a promotion or whatever the case may be. And something happened, it got delayed or it didn't happen. And so we worked ourselves really, really um hard put a lot of pressure on ourselves as well stressed ourselves out and today it's it's like you know what i'm just gonna let this go i've done everything that was i was supposed to if it's meant to be it will be and as soon as we do this as soon as we're in that moment of release and opening up for blessings for from the universe they're not what we want but they are what we need or what we deserve and oftentimes it brings us better things bigger and better things than what we could want for ourselves. All we need to do is just really open up to receive those blessings. And then we find, hold on, there's a new job available and it's actually my dream job. Hold on, there's a different change that we can make with work and it's actually gonna be a lot better for me. I'm gonna have more responsibility, more more benefits, more time with family, whatever the case may be. Um, same thing with self, with our view on who we are, our identity. Maybe we're holding on to um, a way of being because we were brought up to be that way or because everyone else saw us that way and expected us to be that way. Maybe we wanted to be that way, but we were kind of pushing ourselves or forcing ourselves to be someone we're really not deep down inside. And so for today, it's a beautiful day for liberation, transformation, and opening up to blessings from the universe with the death card. We don't have to do anything. We've done what we were supposed to. We have taken that step. We have taken that action. Today is more the energy of release and embracing what comes uh, with an open mind, with an open heart, with hopes for the best, okay, is what we are really um, guided to do today. If we do this, the energy we're moving into tomorrow with is the justice card. So then isn't this beautiful? And it's a major arcana card and it's the card of fate, karma, destiny. Um, and this talks about karmic blessings coming our way. This talks about starting a new cycle in our lives or several that are in line with who we are, in line with what we truly deserve, okay? With the justice card, what we truly deserve is coming to us um, as we're moving through today, through this energy of release and embracing and the justice card can be, like I say, um, you know, we have our uh, heart set on a particular job um, and we go through the energy of release today and embracing and saying, you know what, I'm going to just, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to let this go for now and just see what else is out there. And as soon as we do that, we have a new contract coming in. We have a new job coming in. That is our dream job or that is something that's part of our life purpose because it is the card of karma and destiny. Same thing with relationships. Holding on to a certain person, holding on to a certain relationship, holding on to a certain experience, to certain feelings, good or bad, that have been keeping us stuck, trapped, not moving forward, and just tormenting ourselves really at the end of the day. Releasing that 
and embracing love just love you know just saying to the universe you know what i release the situation if that person is meant to be in my life they will be if i'm meant to be with that person i will be and i truly believe that so i release this i let it go and if it comes back to me i know that it, it was meant to be and if not i know that that was meant to be and i open myself to blessings and whoever i am meant to be with that can bring me true love that i deserve okay as soon as we do that, okay, we're moving into the future and we're going to start to see new people in our lives and we may really meet a true soulmate or even a tr twin flame with these energies here as well. Same thing with health. It can apply anywhere. So just take the energy, take the message um, of the reading and then apply it to whatever you're going through if you feel that it rings bells for you. And our guidance card is 24. <laughs> it's actually a really beautiful card uh, talking about letting go, talking about releasing. So this woman has opened that cage and released this butterfly. Now she's in that moment of waiting to see, will it come back? Will it fly away? What is it that it's meant to happen for her here? And so this image captures that moment because this is where she is, okay, on, on the chess table here with all these um, chess pieces here. It talks about entrapment. It talks about uh, being stuck, being trapped, having no way out or no way forward. This could be the king here and, you know, where, where the knight sits, it's in check. And then um, I think that's a queen of the other party. Um, and it's the king is in check from that part as well, from that direction. Um, so it's just feeling stuck. It's feeling trapped. Okay, there are bars on the window here that could have been put there or that she may have put there herself. Um, and it's almost like trying to either hold on to a moment, trying to freeze it in time. And that is her prison. Or just being afraid to release, being afraid to embrace whatever happens that is her prison. And, you know, I'm seeing the cat here as our intuition, as our subconscious. And it's almost like it's, it, it was, you know, whispering, saying to her, just let it go, let it go, embrace, see what happens, have a little fun with it. It's a kitten here, okay, so it talks about playfulness, it talks about just enjoying yourself and seeing what happens, experimenting, learning new things, trying to have new experiences is what I'm also getting here. And the only thing stopping us from doing it is ourselves, okay? And so 24 adds up to a six and sixes are harmony and love, okay? Um, also uh, communication, solving problems and so moving forward as a result of that balance as well, okay? So re-establishing re who we are, where we're going, what we want, what we deserve, and as opposed to just going out for it, pursuing it, today we're, it's more like, you know what, you've made a choice, you've made a change in the past when it comes to the situation, a clear-headed decision that, you know what, I'm just going to take my emotions out of it and whatever happens, happens. As a result of that, we're experiencing change. As a result of that, we're experiencing uh, shifts in the energies and you know changes actually happening in our, our real lives um, and so the energy for today is more find a peaceful place within let go of whatever needs to be released and you know what that is okay you know whatever that is for you that has been weighing you down whether it's been holding you back release it find your footing find your balance and just open up for blessings that are meant to be in your life, okay, is our, our message for today. So it's a really beautiful message. I really hope that it resonates with you. I hope that it gives you um, some guidance, peace of mind, confirmation, whatever it is that you need at this time when you come to the reading. Um, if you're new, this is for all signs, for anybody watching. Um, and I really hope that it helps. That is the purpose of the reading. Um, thank you very much for uh, joining me and thank you for all your support truly i will be posting the weeklies um as soon as i possibly can and i'm also working on february monthlies and um love for february as well i, I didn't get a chance to do them for january but I'm, I'm working on them for february um and just a quick update um uh, there are valentine's Day specials available and the yearly and six month forecasts at a discount price are only available till the end of the month. So if you're still interested in that, um, now would be a good time to uh, check those out. And all the links you need are in the description box below. 
So thank you so much once again. Um, I hope that we all have a beautiful, transformative day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.